My name is Bill McDermott, and I'm usually all about running videos. But something caught my eye on the internet, and I decided to produce this video. I'm going to use the KC Neistat stick figure method. Now let's call this a sample population. And in that sample population, someone gets infected with the coronavirus and affects others. They're not necessarily sick, but they can infect others nonetheless. Now during the course of the day, or maybe week, these people come in contact with other people. Those people in turn get sick. Now you can't really tell which people are sick that show signs of it and what people are just looking normal. Now some of these people may have an immune system unable to fight the virus. And some may even die. Meanwhile, people infect other people and the cycle keeps going on. Infection, people have susceptibility to it, they die. So in less than a minute, that's what's going on in the world today. Part of the solution is social distancing, keeping yourself six feet apart from everybody, constant awareness of what you're touching, keeping your hands with soap and water frequently, keeping your hands away from your face with just a few items. Now ironically, the day after I made this chart, I woke up the next morning and opened up the door to this newspaper. Very surreal way the newspaper article matched almost perfectly the chart that I put together. A car service driver happened to have a part-time job in an upscale retirement community. She got the virus but had no way of knowing it. Within a week, six people got that virus in that retirement home. All of them died. Years ago, Bill Gates gave a talk at a TED a Talk model event. Here it is. of a virus uh, spread through the air uh, like the Spanish flu uh, back in 1918. So here's what would happen. It would spread throughout the world very, very quickly. And you can see there's over 30 million people die from that epidemic. So this is a serious problem. We should be concerned. Apologies for the abrupt ending. I wanted to keep it short. There's a lot more that we don't know. But just keep your ears open and do the math.